In this video, we will see how we can disable the back button in a website. So basically, our this video will concentrate on the disabling the back button of the Laravel website. Okay. So if we take an example of this website, if we browse this website, so you can see I can simply click on various buttons in the navigation and it's working perfectly. And if I uh, turn my internet connection off, so basically I turn the Wi-Fi off. Now, if I click on the back button of the browser, you can see the pages is now visible also with the back button and also with the forward button. So sometime we need to disable this functionality. So basically uh, to turn that, uh, that particular thing off, we have to set some headers in the Laravel website. So let's see how we can achieve this. First of all, I enable my con internet connection again so I can log in into the cPanel. Okay. So and this is my cPanel of this particular website. This is my uh, root directory of the website. So first of all, we need to create a middleware. Okay. We first need to create a middleware. So I simply go to the so terminal. In the first okay. step, what we need to do, we need to first create the middleware of uh, uh, on our website. So I just copy paste the command that is responsible for creating a middleware. The middleware name will be prevent back history. Okay. So after creating this middleware, as you can see, I was on the root directory of my Laravel application. Okay, I was on the root directory and on the root directory, I enter the command to uh, create a middleware that is prevent back history. Okay, so if I go to the root directory of my website, now I need to navigate to the uh, middleware directory app, HTTP and middleware. Okay, as you can see, now I am having the this particular uh, middleware that is created just now. Okay, I just need to edit this file. And basically, uh, there is some boilerplate code on this middleware. What we need to do, we need to write some header function inside the hand handle function. So actually, I prepared this particular thing, the particular code before. So I just take this code and uh, replace with the existing one. Basically, only this uh, particular return statement, I will replace with the new one. Okay. So what uh, what is happening right now, now in the new code, uh, the request uh, is uh, uh, now attached with some headers like uh, the header will be uh, cache control like no cache, no store, maxage and must well revalidate. So basically we are uh, setting the headers at uh, this page uh, will not saved in the cache memory. Okay, so th all these three headers is responsible to do this. So it is and in the expires headers, we are setting the date uh, in some date in the past. So the page is actually uh, cache is actually expired. Okay. So all we need to do, we just create the middleware and uh, enter these line of codes here. And after that, we just need to save this. The next step we need to do, we just need to go to the <coughs> kernel file. If we go one rep, step back, we have the kernel file in, in the app HTTP directory. We are having the kernel file. We just need to add this. In this particular kernel file, we need to scroll down a little bit to the middleware groups. And uh, here are the web um, web group we need to work on so basically uh, this middleware what we write the here is applicable on all the routes on the website okay so i just copy an existing uh, line of code to the new one and just uh, sorry i just my middleware in the middleware directory so i just the upper one okay so basically uh, my middleware will be in the app directory http middleware and the my middleware name is prevent back history. So I just copy this and write down here. Okay, and save the changes. <coughs> so at this point of time, my middleware is created, the code is already there. And the middleware is now uh, attached to the kernel. So now it will be on working stage. Okay. So if I go to the website, if I go to the website, 
uh, I just what I need what I will do I just close the browser and open it again in the incognito window and uh, just go to the root directory of the website as you can see it's uh, working as like before okay but if uh, I disconnect my internet connection and now if I try to click on back as you can see uh, it's keep on loading it's not showing my previous page because I'm not having the internet connection but in the previous case when we are not having that particular header the back button is working but now case the back button is not working as well as the forward button is no also not working so basically we can't see the history of any page once we uh, load that page okay so this is how we can uh, uh, disable the back button uh, in the laravel if you are having any question then let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you out thank you <clears> Thank <throat> you.